look back at the text in verse 20. It says, the mother of James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to Jesus with her sons. When I hear this, the first thing I'm thinking is, poor Zebedee. (laughs) I mean, as a dad, I'm thinking, he's talking to his wife later, and he's going, you you did what? Oh, man, why'd you do that to my boys? You've got to be kidding me. But, But she did. And it says, she knelt respectfully, and say this with me, to what? to ask a favor. Like when someone asks you a favor, you know you're about to get a chore or an errand to run. Isn't that true? Like nobody ever comes to you and says, hey, you know what, I've got a, I just got too much money and uh, could you do me a favor? Could you take some of this and just spend it on yourself? Nobody does that. Nobody, nobody ever comes to you and goes, you know what, this TV is just too big for me. I was wondering if you do me a favor, could you take it? No. Stan Soboleski has never, ever said, hey, could you do me a favor? Would you drive my Mustang for a week? No, no, he's not. You don't know who Stan is. He's the guy who plays the keyboards. And when you're here in person, he's the guy who parks his car out, out in the back 40. Like, no one has ever done that. That's not what it is. Why? Because a favor favors the one who is asking it. And so often, our prayers are favor-flavored. Her prayer was favor flavored. And which, by the way, that's great if you're a rapper. (laughs) Some of you got that 90s uh, reference right there. Boom. It's not so great, though, when it comes to prayer, because a favor-flavored prayer is really about me. It's it's me-centered. It's about my needs, my desires, my plans, and and what I want. And listen to this. In Isaiah 55, 8, in the Old Testament, the prophet Isaiah says, the Lord says this, my ways are far beyond, say this with me, anything you could imagine. God wants to do things in you and through you that you could never, ever think or imagine. Come on, turn to somebody in your neighborhood gathering right now and say, you can't even imagine what God wants to do for you. You cannot even imagine the things God wants to do for you. But instead of looking to God, we look to ourselves and our own plans, and we limit what God can do. We come to God, here's what I need you to do. And we all do it. I do it. We say, here's the plan, God, and I just, I just need you to bless it. And what God says is, you, you're thinking too small. You're thinking too little. You have no idea the plans I have for you. You have no idea the great things I have planned for your future and for your destiny. I've got so much more.